So for today, we're gonna go check out the Valley of Fire. I've never been, but but you have, so I'm glad you suggested this. Yeah, yeah, I'm really glad you were willing to uh, um, trust my uh, testimonial and uh, make the, the leap of faith to come down here. The warmer temperatures are nice. I feel like I just scratched the surface of all the you know interesting terrain and features to see, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting to check out some different areas from the places I went last time. Maybe we'll be able to have a look at the fiery wave and uh, what yeah, others. Yeah, that definitely seems like a good feature to check out. Yeah, and uh, some other day hikes. There is a couple of different campgrounds to choose from in there. Mm -hmm. One that takes RVs and one that doesn't. Um, yeah. But it's still only 20 bucks a night and there is a shower, I guess, that's accessible there too. So yeah. not a bad deal all in all. Yeah, a shower would probably be nice. It's been a few days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks like the sun's going to be peeking over that ridge here in a minute. Yeah, man. Really warming things up. Nice. Well, it was a beautiful night to be out in the desert, even with the rodents. Yes, Even his company. <laughs> Bushy tail, little mouse. That's crazy. He was super brave. I couldn't believe. Literally, like, just climbing on me. And even after I, like, you know, I whacked him with, like, with, I was holding my stove, like, I had been folding it up. You yeah. Know? And, like, as he came up, I just, like, whacked him with it. He jumped up in the air, like, this far and ran away. But even after that, he kept yeah. coming back. It's incredible. Well, here comes the sun, and uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy that and then see how we go. So, on December the 13th, Amos and I are taking our first foray into the Valley of Fire State Park. This little trail is just right inside the entrance. Check out a feature called the Elephant Rock. Wonder where it is. It's a very kind of otherworldly really landscape. Cool. Beautiful panorama here, wow. For oh, sure. Bit of a raven flying around there. He's checking us out, huh? Mm -hmm. You want some of my surfing turf. <laughs> I think it is a raven. It looks like it has a wedge-shaped tail. Straight ahead there is what we believe is called the wave. We kind of bypassed that a bit to explore up a little higher here and get you know, further away from uh, the crowd, I guess, if you want to call it that. Not much of a crowd today. Started from parking area number three and hiked down past a feature called the wave and continued down the wash and then 
Amos uh, had a hankering to get up onto this high ridge that we could see, and so uh, we did that. Had a little lunch up there and explored around a bit, looking for an alternate way down, and just ended up backtracking and coming back the way we came. And now we're hiking back up the wash towards the wave and back to our vehicle. Sure is a nice, warm, beautiful, sunny day down here in Nevada. Glad to be back in the Valley of Fire. This must be the main path here that has the rocks scattered inside. Oh, then there's the cairn on the other side. There's some folks that are way up on top of that prominence there. I wonder if they're going to find a way down that way. It's sketchy. Certainly sketchier than what we were. Well, except it's not slippery. Yeah. They'd be able to keep their grip. High stakes. High consequence, yeah. Well, must not look as sketchy once you're up in there. Or they're just a little braver than I might be. So this is Mouse's, what is it called? Mouse tank. Mouse tank with a variety of petroglyphs in the mix and even a little slot canyon off to the side here. If my faith was... Uh... <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. Stretch. <laughs> Good time to not have tight fitting pants. Yep. Today is December fourteenth, two thousand eighteen. And yesterday, Anthony and I had a full day to explore the Valley of Fire State Park here. We got to see the fire wave and do sort of an exploration up to a ridge line that was a little bit east of there. Definitely some spectacular views. Also got to see some petroglyphs from another trailhead on the way back to the visitor center. And enjoyed a rather nice night of car camping here at the Atlatl Campground. It was Fairly quiet as far as car camping goes inside of uh, a park like this. And the scenery was exceptional, for sure. Nice showers and a beautiful sunrise here this morning. Quite the interesting landscape here. The entrance fee per day per vehicle is $10. And if you paid that fee, it's just another $10 to enjoy this campsite that includes showers and these covered picnic tables here. There's a more primitive campsite that does not allow RVs and does not have showers, but people camping there can still walk or drive over to these showers and use them here. They're quite nice, they don't require any coins, and they have plenty of hot water when I was using them. Got a quick glimpse of a roadrunner yesterday running across the road, oddly enough. We had heard reports of bighorn sheep near the Atlatl campground too. Well, it's Friday morning, the 14th of December, on our second day in the Valley of Fire State Park. And for today's itinerary, Amos and I have decided to split up and hike uh, what's called the Prospect Trail, which basically runs uh, on a north-south axis and along the back side of this kind of big uh, sandstone ridge that kind of runs through the center of the park 
and it's a 4.6 mile trail and what we did is I dropped Amos off at the northern terminus this morning and drove his car back down to the southern end and part and we'll hike it in opposite directions presumably uh, passing each other somewhere in the middle and then he'll come and pick me up at the northern terminus later this afternoon. So it should be a fun day. Looking forward to some solo time. And effectively enjoy it going each way without having to double back. And then we'll each get some solo time out here in the desert as well. Uh, we should have plenty of time for some off-trail explorations into some of the beautiful canyons and hopefully have some cool wildlife sightings. There's supposed to be some scrambling along the way of the about four 0.6 mile trail. So looking forward to a really fun day. Uh, day two here in uh, Valley of Fire State Park in Nevada. And we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go, as Amos likes to say. The Prospect Trail actually follows along half of the White Dome Loop. It's definitely some sandy tread to start out with here and some beautiful Red Rock Canyon scenery here in a variety of colors from red to pink to orange and white. The spot that we see here is the site of several movie sets including the Professionals, a 1965 film where they built a Mexican hacienda. Other movies that were filmed here include Star Trek Generations and The Electric Horseman, and many types of commercials as well, according to the signage here. Definitely a picturesque scene going on here along the White Dome Loop. The junction south of the Prospect Trail should be coming up pretty shortly here. Once the trail breaks off of the White Dome Loop, it follows up a drainage for some time to this choke point. Fortunately, the trail appears to go up and around that with those white stakes with the yellow reflection on top. The park map that's posted at the visitor center and the trailhead notes a number of scrambles. So not a hike for people with mobility issues or bicycles. And this sort of workaround isn't really noted on the map either, but looks easy enough so far. Pretty neat little side canyon here with the uh, extra colors on the rocks here and plenty of little alcoves and tiny little caves. A lot to explore here. It's tempting to get a little deeper into this wash and see where it leads. After traveling off trail for some time, finally did meet up with the trail again. Haven't seen Anthony. We probably passed each other when I was doing kind of an off trail section there for a mile and a half or two. But beautiful scenery. Loads of little arches and pinnacles. A variety of different colored rocks here that are typical to the American Southwest. And maybe most importantly, it's about 30 degrees warmer than it would be in southern Utah at this time of year. Even with the shorter daylight. The winter months in general are a great time to visit Valley of Fire. 
Well, I've been on the trail for about two hours now, and uh, continues to be a fun and interesting route. Finally got off of the single track that was kind of slabbing along the edge of a hillside and down into this broad wash, and eventually have gotten down to a point where I've got the really dark red sandstone on my right and then this lighter colored variegated or striped sandstone on my left so that makes for kind of a cool contrast and uh, kind of a cool view of some mountains in the background there that I'm walking towards. I'm enjoying walking north with the sun at my back versus south with the sun in my eyes. Hoping Amos is not being irritated by that. I have yet to pass him, but I'm sure that I'm uh, at least at the halfway point of the trail by this time. Anyway, it's been a fun trip so far. We'll see how it goes. Well, my heart is definitely racing a little bit. I've climbed up onto this big sandstone dome. It's capped with some white sandstone or yellowish colored sandstone. A little couple few places that were sort of steep. Um, definitely a little bit nervy but I pushed on through and made it up here and I'm rewarded by this uh, pretty impressive panorama. I'm feeling pretty awesome up here on this little perch. I bet you I can see for a hundred miles to some distant mountain ranges. Anyway, it's been a fun trip today so far. Looking forward to uh, finishing the hike here when I get down off of this dome. The trail gets quite well defined once it joins up with the old mining road. And I mentioned earlier about the one spot where a couple movies had been shot. And on our way in we actually spotted a camera crew that clearly had some professional gear. The nicest drone camera that I had ever seen and a, a beefy video camera attached to it. As well as a truck with a camera crane on the back. And I think that same group of camera crew trucks that we saw are making their way this way. Somebody must have let them through the gate there. Might be getting a closer look at a professional camera crew on my way back to the car. It's also a pretty good view of what must be the camping area where we stayed last night at Laddle Campground with the various RVs there and with the more primitive campground to the right of that. On the other side of a area with petroglyphs that I haven't actually seen yet, but hopefully we'll have time to look at that on our way back to camp today. Just as well that we are not meeting at this trailhead, they're apparently filming a Honda commercial here. And instead of having to struggle to paint me out of the footage, they're waiting for me to move my car now so that they can have an uninterrupted scene there to film what I guess is going to be competition for the Subaru Outback. Some sort of, you know, crafty off-road vehicle. In any case, it's been a good hike. And now I'm headed back to the White Dome trailhead area to pick up Anthony at the other terminus of this little day hike here. Have one last morning here on the veranda above our campsite. And Anthony had some sharp eyeball for a bighorn sheep that's grazing right over there. Definitely a choice patch of grass that he's snacking on there. For sure, that's like the thickest, luscious patch of grass I've seen anywhere in this park. Yeah, right? 
wonder if there's like a drain field for this like shower or something. Pretty choice view here. Yeah, definitely. I feel like I'm king of the castle from this angle. We had heard about the bighorn sheep coming down from the rockery that surrounds this camp spot. Or this topography must help to keep the wind at bay too, right? Still quite a few empty camp spots on a Friday night in December. And today we're planning to head back north, see what our options are from there. What a treat to have our thermos mugs along with this luxurious car camping trip. Mm -hmm. Do you have any final thoughts on the final Valley of thoughts. Fire area here? Well, I'm glad we drove out this way because I haven't seen this part yet. Oh this yeah. Pretty cool scenery. Fire Canyon Road or something like that? Yeah. So interesting how like the red rock will be poking up through the gray, uh -huh. mountainous sort of stuff. Yeah. That's not something that I'm used to seeing in Utah so much. Yeah. There was definitely one point, um, it's, you know, like after I got into the wash, as I went down, and at some point, all of a sudden, that striped, lighter colored sandstone appeared on the left, whereas before it had been all that darker, rust colored on the right, or I guess that would be to the east. So, an, an interesting mix then. Yeah, it made it a little more interesting. Fire Canyon, Silica Dome. Well, thanks again for suggesting that reverse tandem thing. Yeah. I'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah, I'm grateful to the, uh, the guy I met on the AT last fall who, uh, well maybe it was in the spring, he introduced me to that concept. Nice. I didn't think of it by myself.